What if I told you your water supply is disappearing? Let's talk about groundwater depletion across the middle third of the U.S. and specifically here in the Southern High Plains. Here are five things you need to know if you get your water from the Ogallala Aquifer. The Ogallala Aquifer is crucial. It's one of the world's largest underground freshwater sources. It supplies water for cities, farms, and industries in parts of eight states, Texas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Kansas, Colorado, Nebraska, Wyoming, and South Dakota. It's being depleted rapidly. Listen to this Texas hydrologist. Out of all the water we use in Texas, 40% comes from the Ogallala Aquifer. So it's, it's just this massive um, supply of water. Mace says we're pumping out six times more water a year than can be refilled by rain or snow. Six times. The big challenge with the Ogallala is it's not filling back up. We can run out. Agriculture uses the most water from the Ogallala Aquifer, but farmers can't just quit pumping. The Texas Panhandle area's economy depends on agriculture. This region of our country supplies others with a lot of food. Billions of dollars of value is produced here and exported to provide food, fiber, milk, cheese, beef. If you draw a circle of radius, let's say 120 miles around the city of Amarillo, you've got about a quarter to a third of all of the fed cattle in the United States are produced within that circle. So we're producing a heck of a lot of beef. Dairy is also a really, really important. I think the Texas dairy industry is fourth or fifth among the states in total milk production. And if you include Eastern New Mexico, if we wanted to annex Eastern New Mexico, we'd end up with probably the fourth largest, what we call a milk shed. So it's really important to, to this region and it's really important to the United States as well. The situation is urgent. Experts say groundwater depletion could affect the future of farming across the Southern High Plains by 2100. Before we draw the last drop of water, it will be quite a while, but there will be a time coming fairly soon where we won't have enough water to do the things that we're used to doing, like irrigating large fields. I'm thinking maybe a generation or two. So we really need to be a lot smarter about how we monitor and regulate our groundwater. But there's hope. Farmers are using more sustainable irrigation and farming practices to save water. Scientists are developing less thirsty crops and farmers are planting them. Across the High Plains, conservation programs are restoring Playa Lakes to boost aquifer recharge beneath the surrounding landscape. One Texas Panhandle group is building leaky dams to slow rain runoff. That way, the water has more time to soak in and start its long journey to the aquifer. And more people are harvesting rainwater from roofs. So conservation is happening, but we need to do more. What do you think? Can we avoid a crisis? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and hit subscribe to hear more about efforts to conserve through the Sustain the Plains series from Panhandle PBS.